the science now supports that we do have to become planetary stewards. So I'm so glad that that has been a core of the, of the thematic discussion here. Planetary stewardship is clearly about recognizing the sustainable development goals. We've never had, can you imagine, we've never had a roadmap for the first time with aspirational socioeconomic goals based on equity, based on universality for all co-citizens in the world within planetary boundaries. And that is quite extraordinary. The Millennium Development Goals were about poverty and were not about sustainability and did not put pressure on us who live way, way beyond our means of exploiting unsustainably planet Earth. But we as scientists have recognized that there's a risk with this chart. It looks like a Swedish smurgos board, to be honest. <laughs> you know, you, 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 you can kind of cherry pick your favorites and then go off and, 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 and deliver on it. So we have translated this to a new integrated framework, which we call the wedding cake, which is <laughs> stating very clearly that there are some non-negotiable sustainable development goals. Goal six on water, goal 13 on climate, goal 14 on oceans, goal 15 on, <coughs> on biodiversity, and that these are the safe operating space within which we can have a just, equitable, social inclusive development, attaining the social aspirational goals, the economy and those goals being means of achievement and that governance is the way to get our partnerships together.